Whether you're using an Elkometer 130 salt contamination meter, or the Elkometer 130 soluble salt profiler, each Elkometer 130 gauge is factory calibrated and ready to use straight out of the box. In order to accurately measure the level and density of salt contamination of a sample, each Elkometer 130 gauge measures the conductivity or the flow of electricity through a liquid. The higher the conductivity, the higher the concentration of soluble salts within the sample. Whilst best practice states each gauge should be verified before starting an inspection, the frequency of gauge verification is often dependent on your internal inspection policies or the test method or standard you're working to. By using the Elkometer 130's calibration verification tiles, you can quickly verify the accuracy of your Elkometer 130 anytime and anywhere. The Elkometer calibration verification tiles are used to check each gauge's measurement electrodes by accurately simulating known salt concentrations. So, by comparing the results on the gauge with the values on the tile, you can quickly and accurately confirm that your Elkometer 130 is working within specification. As the Elkometer 130 and Elkometer 130 SSP have different measurement plates, there are two different versions of the calibration verification tiles. The Elkometer 130 requires three different calibration verification tiles of different values, and it's recommended that all three tile values are used to confirm the Elkometer 130's accuracy. However, unlike the Elkometer 130, the Elkometer 130 SSP has a single tile, which allows the user to verify each gauge's accuracy across its measurement range. Before you begin any verification procedure, you must first remove any test paper, magnetic discs, or calibration tiles from the test plate, and then carefully clean and dry the sensors using the deionized water and the sensor wipes provided. To verify the Elkometer 130 gauge, simply press the Menu Soft Key, go to Calibration using the up and down soft keys, and select Calibration Verification. The Elkometer 130 will then guide you through the verification process step by step. Place the first tile onto the test plate and press down firmly. Press OK and the gauge will take a measurement. Compare the reading to the value on the tile and if the gauge reading is within the gauge's specified accuracy, your salt contamination meter's calibration has been verified. Simply repeat these steps with the other two calibration verification tiles and your Elkometer 130's calibration has been successfully verified. If the gauge reading is unacceptable, contact Elkometer or your local distributor for further information. The Elkometer 130 SSP has a single calibration verification tile which will test the gauge across its full range. Again, once you've selected calibration verification from the calibration menu, the Elkometer 130 SSP will guide you through the verification process step by step. Once the test plate is clean, press OK and the gauge will perform a sensor check. Once passed, press the calibration verification tile firmly onto the test plate and press OK to begin. The gauge will automatically check if the calibration verification tile is aligned properly. If the squares on screen are all white, the test will begin. If any of the squares are red, it means the tile is either misaligned or not being pressed down firmly enough. Simply adjust its position, and when all the squares turn white, the test will begin automatically. The calibration verification tile will test the Elkometer 130 SSP four times up four different range values, allowing you to verify your gauge's calibration across its entire range. The Elkometer 130 SSP will test the lowest range first. If the gauge reading is within the range stated on the tile, press pass and the gauge will continue the verification process. Simply repeat the process for the other three ranges. Once the Elkometer 130 SSP passes all four verification tests, your gauge's calibration has been successfully verified. If the reading is outside of the stated range, press fail and you'll be asked to retest. In the unlikely event the gauge fails a test three times, you'll be advised to contact Elkometer or your local distributor.
For more information on the Orcama 130 range of salt contamination meters, click the pop-out in the top right of the screen, or simply visit alcometer.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Alcometer channel to be notified of any new videos.